What's Sparks here? Welcome back to another lovely Minecraft video. Today I am joined by the one, the only Cat Emperor. No. Uh oh, it looks like the zombies are trying to attack our village. Yeah, I think we might need to fortify the place a bit more. Mainly block off the mountain well, somehow. The... Yeah, they do come down from the mountain. Maybe we could build like a some kind of anti-mob defense. Anyways, while we were off camera, we made some progress. Specifically, Cat Emperor has made some progress. First of all, they built this wonderful sugar cream farm. And, thanks to a generous donation from a wandering trader, we now have mangrove trees. Which is going to be lovely, because the new mangrove wood is... It looks pretty, wouldn't you agree? Yes. And, the farm has quite expanded a bit. Now we got carrots and potatoes, and the windmill is a work in progress. And that's about it for the update. My good friend, Cat Emperor, also gave me these books. The Hero Cat. Preparations for the Woodland Mansion. Off camera, they were able to find a Woodland Mansion map, and we're going to need invisibility potions, which means we need to go to the Nether. Chanted weapons, Ender Pearls, those are actually not too hard to get. I'll get those as well in the Nether. And we need Nether Wart, Water Bottle, Golden Carrot, Fermented Spider Eye, and Redstone, of course. Okay, so that's everything we're going to need. For a second, I thought the portal was unlit, but it just didn't render quite yet. That is funny. Okay, now that I'm in the nether, I need to be very careful. Okay, I believe... Yeah, that was my back entrance out of here. Why didn't I bring a bow? I'm such a fool. Come on. All I need to do is find some kind of safe area. I believe the nearest safe area, if you could even call it... Okay, we're just going to have to um, pick a direction to dig, I guess. I just got to defeat one skelly bone. This is one skeleton in, in the way of my destiny of finding a fortress. Okay, I'm going to dig and then block off. Perfect. We are officially in the nether. Now, what direction should I dig in first? Let's see. I'm thinking... Let's go into the negatives in the z-axis. That sounds like a good idea. I'd be very careful. I'm actually going to move my blocks away from the pickaxe. That sounds like a good idea. And we've already dug straight into our doom. Ugh. I'm now stuck in the trees. That's good. Right now I am being barraged by ghasts. Maybe I should start heading down a bit more. Dig underneath the soul sand valley. What do you think? Do you think that's a good idea? Yes. That way I don't have to worry about those pesky ghasts. And we're actually pretty high in the nether too. And fortresses tend to be much lower. I'm thinking about 90 blocks down should be good. Yeah, that sounds good. Ooh, some gold. Too bad I don't have my fortune pickaxe. But we're going to need this gold just in case if my pickaxe breaks. And I need another one. I've dug about 200 blocks in one direction and I still haven't found a fortress so my best course of action is to change directions but I got a feeling if I just keep on going a little bit okay now I'm going to turn preferably in the negative double negative is what I'm gonna go for and maybe there'll be a fortress maybe there won't only time will tell from a creeper that is terrible Yes. Well, I'm sorry. We can build a grave for your horse later. I can't believe that. 
It's horrible. Jeez. This is a terrible story. Too bad these kind of stories happen in real life. I mean in Minecraft as well. There's nothing we can do about it. I don't know what I could recommend. But we will have a proper burial for your horse. Which you didn't even give them a name tag. They'll be absolutely fine. Are you taking revenge right now? Sort of. We can't really avenge a creeper. Unless you kill other creepers. So I don't think it really matters. There are mobs up on top of the hill and I am on half a heart. Ew, no. I didn't realize it was that bad. See, those hills are really a problem. Do you have a solution or an idea of what we could do about them? Light them up. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. We could just light up the hills. I was thinking of building a very preposterous thing. I think that was completely unnecessary, but yeah. Lighting them up would be a better idea. Thanks for the suggestion. I feel like fortresses spawn at roughly the same X as Z, so if they match, don't you think I might find a fortress? Or at least if they somewhat match? I never tested this theory, but this is how I usually find fortresses. I pick one direction, get into a certain number, and then just continue on doing that. Uh oh. Lava. Okay. Time I need to be quicker than that. Ooh, it's coming after me. Molten cheese, not good for your health. Although it's not cheese, I would imagine that there's actually a texture pack that exists where they changed the nether to look like food and like the lava is molten cheese. I feel like that's a thing, wouldn't you? Maybe the candy texture pack does that. Actually, not too sure. Alright. Oh, whoa, Blaze. I was just about to say, I found the fortress. And now I'm being attacked by Blazes. I can't even get out of my own tunnel. Okay, I believe I saw the fortress around here. Oh, jeez. Jeez, oh, jeez, always. Oh, that game really does not want me getting into this fortress. It probably has all the goods that we need. I guess I'm gonna do the dig method until I can find a good entrance. Where I'm not being bombarded with mobs. That's gonna be ideal. I guess I'm block off that part of the tunnel. And you can go away. Okay, just another PX will do. Just craft real quick. I know, but I'm a bit nervous here because it's going to be really easy to die. There was like four wither skeletons guarding the entrance. This has got to be a very special fortress. Oops, I dropped my pickaxe. This could be the death of me. Aha! It is not the death of me because wither skeletons are three blocks tall. I'm so happy I know that. Which means they can't get into my tunnel. Sucks to suck, doesn't it, Mr. Wither Skeleton? Okay, now I have a tactical advantage. I hope I don't waste it like I normally do with these kind of situations. And, okay. I guess here's the plan. 
Uh oh, Hoglin, Hoglin, abort mission, abort mission. Uh, this is scary, and I've been withered because I am stupid. Please, wither effect, go away. Why isn't my heart going down? That's weird. Is that normal, cat? It was completely full. I feel like the rate that I was healing was out withering the wither. Well, not out withering. It was healing the wither before it could do any real damage. But I feel like that wasn't really a thing. Oh, I have not done anything. Oh, you just sold some gold. Or the, the pig of the meat. That's okay with me. Now, blazes are a different story. Oh, I think I'm right next to a blaze spawner. Okay, not good. Okay, I just need to lure these wither skeletons, please. I need to figure out a good way into this fortress. But it's incredibly difficult. I just keep getting bombarded with skeleton after skeleton. And now the blazes have joined the party. But I got a blaze rod. You must be having a blaze of a time. <laughs> uh, no, I wish I was. And maybe if I was dancing with the blazes. I was dancing with the blazes. Oh yeah, the blazes are having so much fun. They're all like, haha, this player spawned right next to, uh oh, withered. I'm withered. Get out. Get to the safety hole. What my goal is, is to torch that spotter and get into the fortress. But I can't do that when there's hoglins, wither skeletons, and blazes. Alright. <laughs> I'm officially in the fortress. Hip, hip, hooray. And now I'm being attacked by giant magma cubes. I'm just going to block you fools off. And I'm going to take a moment to breathe. I'm also going to block this off. Whew. Surviving the nether, everybody. Surviving the nether. Some people may say this is the coward's way. But I say this is the safe way. This cobblestone wall will protect me from the endless barrage of blazes of wither skeletons. And I'd rather be safe than die. Wouldn't you agree? Yes. Do do. No, no more laxy Minecraft music. Okay, now I need to somehow attract that wither skeleton. I feel like these mobs are hyper spawning or something. Like, spawning more than often? Or am I just imagining things? Like, there is two giant magma cubes and two blazes and a wither skeleton. Does that seem normal? Oh. I see. Okay, that's those annoying magma cubes gone. Might as well grab this magma cream, because then we can make... Okay, I'm going to track this wither skeleton. And then... Oh, why is my mouse on the screen? That's weird. I'll fix that. Okay, now my mouse is gone. Good, and now we can continue on... Never mind. All these mobs are coming from downstairs. Which makes me so happy to come down here. No. Stay away. And I've been withered. Wonderful. I'm going back to my hidey hole. This is how you explore a fortress without enchanted gear. It's non-stop going back and forth. Now isn't it? And now I'm trapped in my hidey hole because two blazes spawned. 
This is wonderful. I'm so happy with this development. Okay, this is gonna work out, I think. Yeah, I just need to increase the height right here by one. Okay, where is that blaze I was trying to attack at? There it is. Okay, apparently now the hallways want to be clear so I can explore. And never mind, though they don't. I'm just gonna block you off. And I'm definitely blocking this area off. That is a blaze spawner. Okay, now I have to pick my poison. Blazes or magma cube? I'm gonna choose giant magma cube. Works for me. But be careful, do not attack that zombie piglin. This is the last thing I want. Oh no. Oh no, now there's a bunch of normal skeletons that spawn behind me. Okay, those two are fighting. Which makes, gives me the perfect opportunity. Yes. Okay. I might as well pick up this bow. I'm gonna need it. I only have two arrows, but it will help. A little. It feels like mobs just endlessly spawn. Oh, the blades can get through. No, don't let the blades get through. If I get lit on fire, I am done. That's that's right, Blaze. Just let me explore the fortress. Okay, and I'm also running out of protective locks. Oh, and there's a blaze behind me. You know what? I am not dealing with giant blazes behind me. Okay, baby magma keep. Uh-oh. Okay, I'm gonna have to wait for you to fire. Okay. Perfect. Okay, I'm blocking you off completely. Uh, yeah, that's a lot of blazes. I'm gonna mark this with a T. Just because it's unique and I can read it. That tells me that there's a blaze spawner there. There's not enough room to make a B. And... Two more giant magma cubes. I feel like there's so many mobs. My diamond sword's gonna break before I even get out of this fortress. But unfortunately, it looks like we are out of time for this video. I hope the next video goes a lot better. Actually, let's look on the positive side. Everything went pretty well. We've actually found a fortress using that bizarre method that I came up with. And I don't know if it works, but it technically worked. So I'm going to count that as a win. Anyways, see you in the next video.